Do you suffer from acne? Then this video is for you. I'm Dr. Karen Drummond, owner of Drummond Chiropractic, and I'm gonna share with you my top three tips for acne-free skin. Now, before you follow any advice from any video, check with your healthcare provider to make sure it's appropriate for your specific condition, and hopefully that's one of us here at Drummond Chiropractic. So what is my number one tip for acne-free skin? Believe it or not, nutrition is very important when it comes to healthy skin. Now there are some scientists and medical doctors that claim that food doesn't have to do with acne, but I'm here to tell you it does for some people, not everybody, but if you're one of the people that's affected by your nutrition, then improving your diet is going to help your skin. So what can you do nutritionally? Number one, drink enough water. The skin is an organ that helps detoxify the body. And can you see if you're dehydrated, how it would make it more difficult for the body to detox? Drinking enough water will make it easier for the kidneys to filter out your blood and will also make the oils you produce more watery and less prone to clogging. But one interesting fact about drinking water is make sure you're not drinking water from plastic containers, especially if that plastic container was in a hot room or in the sun because plastic has chemicals that can affect your hormone levels. They're estrogenic. So make sure that you're drinking from glass containers or you're drinking from purified water straight from the tap because most can agree hormones affect acne. So another thing to avoid are estrogen mimicking or foods that affect our estrogen. Things like chocolate or coffee. And again, there's some articles that claim eating chocolate or drinking coffee doesn't affect acne. And I'm here to tell you, it definitely affects me and other people I know. And you might be one of those as well. Now, not everyone gets affected by coffee or chocolate, but you won't know until you try. Another thing to avoid is greasy foods and sugary foods. Sugar is inflammatory, and so anything that inflames us is gonna make our acne more inflamed. And also, sugar and grease feeds the bad bugs. Which leads me to the other thing you need to do, and that is improve the health of your gut. The skin that lines our gut, our stomach, our intestines, our colon, is very similar to the skin on the surface. So if our skin inside is unhealthy, the skin outside is gonna be unhealthy. And also, if your gut is unhealthy, it's gonna be a leaky gut, which lets other chemicals get into our body that our skin has to get rid of. So I can't stress enough, a healthy gut leads to healthier skin. So how do you improve your gut? The two top easiest things to do is add probiotics, like take it in a supplement form, and make sure that the probiotic is in a capsule so that you can survive the acids in your stomach and get to your lower gut. Another thing you can try is colostrum. It's really good for healing the gut. To learn more, you can watch my videos on gut health. So to recap number one on nutrition is to avoid foods that are estrogen mimicking, avoid inflammatory foods, drink enough water but not in plastic, and improve the health of your gut. So let's move on to number two, which is skincare. Basically, every morning and every night, you should be washing your face. Now, what's more surprising is after you wash your face with a mild soap, you want to make sure you get all that soap residue off. Really rinse your face. I make sure to splash at least 10 splashes of water on my face to get rid of all that soap because any residue can irritate the skin or over dry it. And when skin is over dry, it actually encourages more oil production, which can make your face extra greasy and more prone to acne. So really wash the soap off. So after I wash, I apply witch hazel, which hazel is a nice toner and I make sure to wipe it off completely as well. Then I spray my face with rose water because after washing your face, it's dry. And if you just put moisturizer on right after, you might be sealing in that dryness. So I put a spray of rose water on because it's got some vitamin C, which is a nice bonus for anti-aging. And that way I'll seal in that moisture. So after the rose water, then you can spot treat with an acne cream on any blemishes you may have. And then you put moisturizer on. And in the morning after you moisturize, put on some sunscreen and in the evening, after you moisturize, I put on some vitamin E and vitamin C serum. It's great for anti-aging. Whatever you do, do not pop your zit because what that'll do is that'll irritate the skin, causing further damage and more redness and more swelling, making it more unsightly. And it doesn't help the healing process. There are some exceptions to this. You can talk to your dermatologist or your healthcare provider 
for more specifics, but in general, do not pop your zits. And now there are little patches you can apply on your blemishes that cover it up, which will help prevent you from wanting to pick at it or pop it. And it really speeds the recovery of any blemish you may have. So to recap number two, you want to wash, rinse well, tone, apply some moisturizer like rose water and then your moisturizer and some sunscreen in the morning and some serums at night, spot treat, and you can also put patches on if that helps you. So what's number three? Believe it or not, finding ways to de-stress. Stress is a root cause of all dis-ease which leads to disease, and acne is a sign of you being in a diseased state. So trying to find ways to help you relax. Maybe it's meditation, maybe it's going on regular walks, maybe it's taking more time off. Whatever it is that helps you de-stress, it's gonna help your skin and your health in general. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, don't forget to click that like button. You know we love to hear from you, so please post any questions or comments below. And if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps our channel out. And until next time, stay well.